Glory. Hallelujah. Oh, we, once again, we thank God for his manifold blessing. I am so glad just to be back here one more time. And I'm reminded of the old warrior said, through many days, tars and stars, that he was just grace that brought me safe this far. And I know his grace will lead me on. Uh, we're going to lift up his name today and praise this. We truly bless him. You don't know how God works. He works in mysterious ways with wonders to perform. And when you don't get all what you can do, watch out. God will come to your rescue. So we're going to lift him up today and we're going to praise him, worship. Let us get in our mind that when praises go up, blessing will come down. And our young people, you can sing along with them. And Lift up his name. We just want to praise him today. We done begged him all week and week before that. Now let's praise him. Not what he's going to do, but what he has already done in our life. We got something to praise him for. Just be 
still answer us. We still got those who are sick and afflicted, not able to be in the house of God. Wherever they are, touch right now. We're not going to send you nowhere because you're all Yes, it will. It'll bless your 
about your father. It ain't all about that peaches and cream. Amen. You know, and I thought coming on walk, started walking on this side, that thing was going to get easy. But somebody got mad. Right. They started coming out to me a little bit harder. But I thank God for him. Amen. First of all, this morning, I want to give honor to God. Amen. I want to thank the pastor here for allowing me to say some briefly, oh, yeah. briefly, a few words. This morning. Because the word of God this morning is God's word. Amen. It's scripture. Amen. It's not my word. All right. It's his word. Amen. I'm going to be obedient uh -huh. to his word. Amen. Like I said, I want to be with you all very briefly here. I bring you greetings from Ebenezer Baptist Church out of Mobile. But this is this for me, this is home. All right. All right. I get excited coming up here. You know, you know, I got family. I have family here. Right. See, I have family here, and I, it's, it's a good feeling in here to be able to say that Amen. when you can have family. Amen. See, because we got the wrong idea about family. The wrong idea about family. It got to be all blood, but it goes bigger than that. That's the talk of the Bible. All of us here this morning. So. But the word of God this morning is going to be treasures in heaven. All right. Treasures in heaven. Right. We're trying to collect too many treasures just to store them up here Amen. on earth. Mm -hmm. But God wants to see those treasures and store them up in heaven. All right. Because you know what? He can watch over them. Right. Well, we can't. Mm -hmm. This morning, the word is the scripture. We're going to start with chapter 6, starting at verse 1. What book? The book of chapter 6 in Matthew chapter 6. I'm sorry. It's all right. Take your time. Matthew chapter 6. When you have it, say amen. Amen. And the beautiful thing about this. You really want to have some life changing experience in your life? Listen to Jesus Amen. teaching. Amen. Listen to Jesus teaching. Get yourself into a place where you can block out all of the nonsense, Amen. the norm, Amen. the folks, Amen. even sometimes your loved ones. Amen. And just listen to Jesus. I had to come to a realization. My spirit had to be calm to hear Jesus. Amen. Chapter 6 of Matthew, starting at verse 1. And it reads, Take heed that ye do not your arms. That's gift giving before men. To be seen of them. Otherwise, he have no reward of your father, which is in heaven. Amen. Listen to that very carefully. It says, take heed that you do not your arm, that's gift given mm -hmm. before men, mm -hmm. to be seen of them. Otherwise, ye have no reward of your father, which is in heaven. Oh, yeah. May be seen. When I read that, what came to me very quickly, how we, the church, have gotten so out of focus. How do we get back into focus? We got to get back into the scripture for what is said. Because see, we're relying upon too much of our own intellect, our worldly thinking. We're afraid what somebody may say oh, yeah. because you're saying what the word says. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's so plain and it's so clear. Yes, it is. Don't have to change it. You don't have to add to it. Don't have to take away from it. Amen. Just hear it and read it for what it is yeah. and let it dwell in your soul. Yeah. Not my soul, yeah. but your soul. Yeah. And let God's will be done. Yeah. 
Verse 2 says, Therefore, when thou doest thy arm, mm -hmm. do not sound a trumpet before thee. Mm -hmm. As the what? Yes. Hypocrites do in the synagogues mm -hmm. and in the streets, that they may be have glory of who? Mm -hmm. Men. Very I say unto you, they have their reward. Amen. If I'm coming out there at you about what I'm doing and my giving, my gift, and all of these things, God is pretty much telling me, I need to expect my reward from you, not from him. Because I'm doing it before what? Me. The word he says is, I didn't say it. This is what the scripture is saying. Then it goes on to say, but when they do it, thou doest harm. Let not your left hand know what your right hand is doing. That's right. Sometimes you just, you know, just do what the Lord has for you to do. Don't tell mama, sister, brother, anybody else. Just do it. That's hard for us to do because we want this here. We're looking for that. Looking for that pat on the back. Because I'm looking for all my rewards from heaven. Then it goes on to say, Then thy arms may be in secret, and thy father was seeing in secret, himself shall reward you openly. Do it take a lot to grasp hope of what that is saying? Oh, no. Oh, we don't want to do anything in secret with God anymore. Show off. I can say that strongly because why? Because I was guilty. Still, sometimes I need to be kind of like, oh, come on back over here now. You straight away again. I'm not talking about nobody else but me. I fall short. Mm -hmm. But it's good to have a God that you can go to. Yes. You can ask for forgiveness. Yes. You can repent of your sin. Oh, yes. But you got to understand and don't be in denial oh, yes. that you're guilty yes. of your sin. Amen. Right. See, it's Amen. one thing to repent mm -hmm. but being in denial that you're guilty. Mm -hmm. Yes, I did. It's all on me. God forgive me. Mm -hmm. I repent of it. Mm -hmm. And I had to go a little further. Not just my sins of action, but my sins of thought. Amen. We had some dangerous thoughts. Oh, yes, I'm talking about me right now. Mm -hmm. Had some dangerous thoughts. Mm -hmm. Had to repent. Say, Lord, forgive me. Oh, yes. But see, we we'll look at those actions. <clears throat> but what about those thoughts? What about those thoughts that you murdered someone oh, in your yeah. mind? Mm -hmm. What about those thoughts that you talked about somebody right. yeah. that you should have been loving that person? Amen. The good thing about the Lord, uh -huh. in spite of what any of us may have done, oh, yeah. he still oh. loves us. Oh, yeah. he, still, he never left us mm -hmm. or forsake us. Still right there. Oh, yeah. Boy, you know what? If, I ask myself sometimes, now I talk to God, mm -hmm. what would it take for me to be more like you, Jesus, Lord, yes, Lord. than less of Andre? Mm -hmm. All right. That's an everyday thing. Yes, what would it take for me? But see, we don't understand the thing of laying down your life for a brother and sister. Oh, yes. You know? We thought we'd do death and everything. There's some other things too. We need to be able to lay our life down for our brother and sister. We got to be able to go to your brother and sister and say, I'm sorry. Forgive me because I'm guilty of what I just said about you. And you didn't even know. You didn't even know. I talked about you. I had some art with you. I didn't like what you. But you know what? The best way to get over is if somebody you feel someone has offended you, get them, let, go to them and let them know. Don't go to the other person. Go to them. Let them know. What you said hurt me a little bit. Talk to them. You find out 
that a lot of things you'll overcome a lot better. But once again, as it says, and when I was praying, mm -hmm. now we really get into the praying part. Now when thou pray, thou shalt not be like the what? Hypocrites are. Oh, yes. For they love to pray standing in the synagogue and in the, in the corners of the street that they may be seen of men. Oh, yes. very, I, very I say unto you, they have their what? Reward. God wants you to go out there and reach those and touch those souls. Mm -hmm. Share with those souls. Mm -hmm. His word. Mm -hmm. The change in here today. Oh, yes. You're going to do what God has called you to do. Amen. To preach. Amen. To teach. Mm -hmm. And to love people to his kingdom. Oh, not your kingdom. Amen. To his kingdom. Mm -hmm. He'll do all the changing. Right. Give you a little example. Long as people was coming at me early on in my day, in, in my age, you know, I fought against some hard and hard. No, mm -mm. Mm -hmm. no, I ain't doing right. This is what I want to do. Mm -hmm. But it took God. Lord, yes, Lord. It took God yes. to bring me down mm -hmm. to where He wanted me to be. Lord, yes. And it goes and, 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 and going on a little further. Said. But when ye pray, use not vain what? Repetition. This ain't Andre's son. This is not Andre. Well, this is God's, this is Jesus' teaching. Mm -hmm. This is our Savior yes. teaching. Mm -hmm. We got to get back to what our Savior yes, was Lord. teaching. Yes. And be direct what he is saying. Mm -hmm. Don't sugarcoat it. Right. Don't add to it. Right. Don't take away from it. We don't need to hear what Dr. So-and-so said. This theology. We need to hear what Jesus is saying. But thou, when they pray, enter into thy what? Closet. Mm -hmm. And when thou hast shut the door, pray to the Father. No, let's say pray to man. Did I read that wrong? I read it wrong? No, we pray to the Father. Right. Pray to the Father, which is in what? Secret. And our Father, which sin in secret, shall reward you openly. Mm -hmm. I had to get a taste of that because I didn't understand it. Mm -hmm. I didn't understand it because I didn't really want to do it. Because uh -huh. I wanted to get you all's pat on the back of the man's approval. Amen. Mm -hmm. See, he wasn't looking to the Lord. Right. I'm talking about me now, not nobody else. But when he prayed, once again, be not be therefore like them. Mm -hmm. For your father knows what things you have need of before even you ask. Yes. For me, that's very powerful. Mm -hmm. You know what that caused me to start the door? Shed in my mouth. Mm -hmm. Because God I already know. Mm -hmm. See, when you got that relationship with God, mm -hmm. you know that He knows. Because you belong to who? Yeah. yeah. Right. But once again, but not ye therefore like unto them. For your father knows what things you have need of before ye ask him. Yeah. Then he broke it down and just made it even simple for me. Mm -hmm. When I get up in the morning time, mm -hmm. washing my face and all of those things, mm -hmm. doing my little to maybe some of a bottle because it'll be early in the morning. Mm -hmm. I'll shoot them to you. <laughs> but I'm going to be about the father's business. Mm -hmm. Because you know what? If it bothers you that much, all you got to do is call your brother and I still love you. Mm -hmm. I won't sell it to you. But I'm still having these thoughts. Mm -hmm. And in my heart, when I read it, that's how much I love you. Mm -hmm. But then I get on down to it when I get up in the morning time. I think about everything I just read, those vain repetitions and all of those things, putting on the show. Sometimes you put on the show for yourself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you do. Mm -hmm. You put on the show, oh, I sound so good. I know it hurt me. <laughs> See what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Do them self show. But then I start to doing just what the word of God says. 
and I started to see a change in my life. Oh, yeah. I'm going to say this and I'm going to sit down. And it says, after this matter, therefore, pray ye, our Father, which art oh, in heaven, Lord. hallowed be thy name. Yes. Thy kingdom come. Yes. Thy will be done oh, yes. in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day oh, yes, our daily bread. Oh, yes. And forgive us our debts. Mm -hmm. Let me stop right there for one, one minute. Mm -hmm. Our debts. First, before you want to, when you're reading this, have you yet forgave yourself? That's the question we need to ask. That's the biggest thing, we, one of the hurdles we need to cross. Right. Forgiving yourself. Because you're about to enter into the kingdom of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Forgive me yourself. Because he's already forgiven you. Oh, yes. You're struggling with forgiving yourself. Mm -hmm. Then it trickle on down to the person next to you. If they forgive you or not. Mm -hmm. Okay? But do what God called you to do. Mm -hmm. Stop trying to do what other folks want you to do. Amen. Do what God called you to do. And follow his instructions and his word. Mm -hmm. It will never fail. Oh, yes. Say, give us mm -hmm. this day our daily bread. Mm -hmm. And forgive us our death as we forget our what? We give our dead earth. Mm -hmm. And lead us not into temptation, oh, yes. but deliver us from evil. Oh, yes. For thine is the king and the power and the glory. Forever. Oh, yes. Amen. Oh, yes. On that note, come to Jesus. Mm -hmm. It's time. If you haven't yet given your life to the Lord, mm -hmm. it's a time right now oh, yes. with God has said, come to him. Mm -hmm. It may seem difficult. It may seem sometimes you're alone. Mm -hmm. But guess what? You're not alone. Oh, He's yes. walking right there with you. Oh, yes. Come on to him. And give your life to him. Jesus did not go to the cross and die on the cross in vain. Jesus' teaching is there for us. He is there for you. God is there for you.
And so we want to pray for this revival first. I don't want to have uh, just come and sing like a choir. We come for spiritual deliverance oh, yes, Lord. in this revival. Mm -hmm. And when he does it, he do it for his glory. Right. And that's what I'm looking for this uh, revival this year. We're praying. Thank you. But God knows just what we need. We get ready to go now. Let the church say. Yeah.